All right, hello everyone at home. I'm assuming that you can hear me. Um, all right, if you can't, I'm sure you'll let me know. All right, so we're gonna begin, we're gonna begin lying on our backs today. Yes, we are. So a nice new year, new flow, new you, right? Settle in here. We're going to start our class like we're going to end it. And draw the shoulders down away from the ear. The hands are palms facing up to receive energy. And just come into your breath here. Deep inhale and a deep exhale. Take about three more breaths. Feel the chest rise up on your in. Feel it fall on the exhale. When you're ready, slowly draw the knees into the chest and hug them in. Squeezing a gentle rock side to side. Come into happy baby. A gentle rock side to side again. If you want to play around with maybe straightening the legs a little bit. Maybe bringing the soles of the feet together and pulling the feet down towards the chest. And then come back into a regular happy baby and just draw the tailbone down towards the earth and find stillness. A nice long, long neck, long spine here. And when you're ready, release the arms high, legs high for that waterfall. Twisting through wrists ankles, wiggling the fingers and the toes. Just hang out in waterfall, stacking the joints, finding still, stillness within the body. Beautiful, slowly hug the knees into the chest and begin to rock forward and backwards, forward and backwards. Take about three more, all the way, massaging the spine. On the last one, stay in the seated Sukhasana. Sit up tall, reach the arms up high on your inhale. On the exhale, bring the hands to heart center. Close your eyes, yogi. Set your sankalpa, your intention for your practice today. Wherever your heart longs, whatever it is that you need. Mm -hmm. 
And when you're ready, blink the eyes open. Reach the arms up on your inhale. On the exhale, drop that right hand down to the earth. And drop the elbow, look up and under the left arm. Pressing the left booty down. And then slowly come back up high, both arms high, inhale. On the exhale, drop that left hand down, tiptoe it out, look up and under the right. Again, come high to the sky. We're gonna do one more round, nice and high, but in between, clasp the hands behind the head, open the chest, pull the elbows back, look up. Exhale. Beautiful, release the hands high to the sky. Again, we come into that side stretch. Try to tiptoe those fingers out a little bit further. See if you can set the right elbow on the earth. Now look up and under the left arm. Try to keep the left booty down. Breathe. And slowly come on up, both arms high, inhale. Reach up and then we tiptoe it out. Left hand tiptoes, try to drop the left elbow down. Look up and under the right, press the right cheek down. Breathe. Nice, slowly come up, both arms come high, inhale. Clasp the hands on the back of the head, open the chest, look up. On the exhale, release the hands out in front, drop the head down. Nice, slowly come back up with the body. Take the left hand on the outside of the right knee, twist, look over the right shoulder, breathe in through the nose. As you exhale, turn, 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 twist, twist, twist. And then right back through center, inhale. On the exhale, right hand lands on the outside. We look over the left. Use your breath to get you here. Inhale, looking to the back. Exhale, we twist, twist, twist even more, more, more. And then come back to the center. Hands on the knees, sit up nice and tall, inhale. Open the mouth, exhale. Tabletop position, yogi. Tabletop position. So cat cows, drop belly down, booty up, gaze up. Exhale, round the back like your cat. Again, inhale. Deep exhale. Again, in and out. Beautiful, come back to a neutral spine. Take the knees back behind about six to seven inches. And then we're gonna lean forward and then make hip rotations, slow hip rotations all the way through, noticing the sensation. All right, when you've done three on one side, reverse the rotation and go three on the other. And come back to a neutral spine, bring the knees back under the hips, take the right arm high to the sky, look up to the thumb, and then thread the needle all the way underneath. Getting into that right shoulder, the right temple lands on the earth. Just wrap that left arm around the back. We're not gonna worry about balancing the leg right now, yogis. Try to look up to the sky over that left shoulder, getting into the throat once again, pulling the left shoulder on top of the right. Breathe, press that right palm into the ground. Nice, bring the left arm high to the sky. Back down to the earth, press yourself up. Right arm comes high, we follow the gaze all the way up and then we drop it right back down. Take the left hand, reach it up high. Thread the needle all the way underneath. Breathe, take that right arm, wrap it around the back. Once again, take the left hand, palm faces down, press it into the earth and then look up and over that right shoulder. As much as you can turn the neck, turn the neck. Breathe. Nice, bring that right hand down to the earth, guide yourself up, follow the gaze up to that left hand and then drop it right back into tabletop position. Curl your toes under, lift the legs up for downward facing dog. Pedal the feet, shake your head, yes, not it, no. Walk the hands to the back of the mat, stay in rag doll. Bring your toes together, heels out, toes in, fold the body, tuck the chin, breathe. And toes are 12 o'clock, walk it right back out to a downward facing dog, Aldo Mukha Savasana, pedal the feet, try to flatten the back here, no rounding in the back. All right, left leg comes high to the sky. 
All right, bend the leg, look up and under that left arm. Just stay here for a moment before you rotate. And then circle that knee slowly. Circle it slowly. It's all about the left hip. You'll hear, you'll feel cracks and pops. That's fine, welcome them. Beautiful. Now straighten that leg all the way up. Bring the left knee to the right tricep. Shift yourself into plank. Hold it here. If you can straighten the leg out without touching the ground, do it. Otherwise, set the foot on the ground. But don't bring the right arm high. We're going to come back high to the sky with that left leg. Bend the leg. Look up and under the left arm. And then right back into that same exact twist. Left knee to the right tricep. And then straighten the leg. Hover it. And then... Again, left leg comes high, bend the leg, look up and under. And then we slowly shift right back to where we were. Try to hover that leg in that fallen star. Go ahead, set the foot down if it's not there and then reach that right arm high. Yes, bring the right hand down, untwist, left leg comes high. Bring it through for dragon pose. Set it on the outside of the left hand, drop down to the back knee. All right, yogis, a gentle rock side to side. And take that left arm, reach it up high if you want to fly, reaching, opening the chest, opening the heart, twisting through that left wrist. Maybe you bring that hand all the way back as far as you can go. If you want to add in that bind, go ahead and bend the back leg and grab onto the foot. For modification, just come back high to that right hand and then grab the foot. Look over that left shoulder again, getting into Jalandahara. Release the foot, bring the left hand down. See if you can just step the foot into a forearm plank without dragging it. Breathe. Stay in forearm plank. If you need to drop to the knees for modification, if you feel pain in the back, you drop to the knees. You can still strengthen and breathe and focus. You can still do your yoga. Two more. And just tiptoe the feet in for dolphin. And then press yourself up into downward facing dog. Pedal the feet, shake the head, yes, nod, no. Remember, try not to lock your elbows out and down, down dog. You want the slight bend, use your muscles. Take the right leg up high to the sky, bend the knee, look up and under the right arm. Just feel, feel the pose before we move in it. All right, and now make rotations with that knee, circle it out. Big circles. And then reverse that rotation. Beautiful. Straighten that leg all the way up as you inhale. We're going to bring that right knee to the left tricep. Maybe you can straighten the leg out for a little bit of advance and then bring it right back up high. Bend the leg, look up and under the right arm and then right back. Shift into the plank, right knee to the left tricep. Stay here or straighten the leg out. Again, come high to the sky. Right leg bends, look up and under. Beautiful, bring it back through, same exact place. Hover that foot, hover that foot. Now drop it down for fallen star. Reach your left arm high, reach to the back, look up. Yes, bring that left hand down, untwist. Right leg comes high, breathe. Bring it through for dragon pose. Set it down, drop it down. All right, same thing. If you want high hands or low, a gentle rock side to side. If you want to take that right arm high to the sky, take it high. If you want the bind, getting into that left quadricep, just bend that back leg, grab onto the foot, look over that right shoulder. Maybe you just bend the leg or maybe you have that right hand in the direction of the leg or if you have a strap, use your strap. Beautiful, release that. Come back to those forearms and see if you can lift that left knee up and step the right foot back without dragging it, forearm plank.
And drop it all the way down to the belly. Put the hands right underneath for your cobra. Roll your shoulders back. Look up to the sky. Curl the toes under downward facing dog. Pedal the feet, shake your head. Yes, nod and no. And come high to the tippy toes. Roll yourself into a high plank pose. And then slowly chaturanga. Go halfway down if you can. Otherwise, do what we just did coming all the way down. Move slow. Inhale upward and exhale down dog. Remember, try to get those movements in five seconds. Come high to the tippy toes. Roll into a high plank for five, four, three, two, one. We chaturanga. Five, four, three, two, one. Upward. Five, four, three, two, one. Downward. We'll do it one more time, yogi. When you're ready, high to the tippy toes, roll into it. Five, four, three, two, one. Hug the elbows in five. Chaturanga, four, three, two, one. Upward, four, three, two, one. Downward, four, three, two, one. Breathe. Take your right hand, grab the outside of the left ankle, looking up and under that left arm. And then release. Other side, left hand grab, look up and under the right. And then release, walk the hands to the back, take a yogi squat, sit down, bring the hands to heart center, close the eyes. If you need to put the block underneath the booty here, put the block there. Otherwise, Titan Mula Bandha, Uliyara Bandha. Getting into the throat, chin goes out, we drop the head down. And those of you that can come to the tippy toes, come to your tippy toes, balance. Two more. Nice, slowly lower the feet. Bring the hands to the earth, straighten the legs, bring the feet together, bend the knees and slowly roll up a one vertebrae at the time. Circle the sun, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Close your eyes. Standing in pranamasana, come back to your intention, your mantra for your class and your day today that will keep you focused. When you're ready, blink the eyes open, reach the arms up, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Walk the hands out for downward facing. Take the left leg lifted up high. And bring it all the way through for warrior two. Nice, sink down nice and low. Line up your heels in the same track. So pull the belly in, don't let it hang out, right? It's easy to let that happen. Knit the ribs together, right? Gaze at the back, just make sure that it's lined up with the one in the front. Three more. Sink down lower. One more. Reverse the warrior, right hand drops, left arm reaches high. Reach to the back. Straight in the front leg, go back even more. And then cartwheel. So right hand lands on the outside of the left foot. Left arm comes high, all right? So getting deep into the shoulder here, take that left hand and inner rotate it and wrap it around, bring it behind you, wrap it around the back so that the palm of the hand faces out. You're separating the fingers nice and wide and the back of the hand is right up on your back. Try to get your fingers up close to the neck as close as you can. And then stack your shoulders on top of each other. Breathe. Nice. Release that hand down. Let it guide you into a floating half moon towards the top of the mat. Left hand lands either on the black block of the earth or let it float. Eagle pose. We come up slowly. Take that right leg over, right arm over, rock. Breathe. 
Take that right leg back behind you. Anjali Asana, drop down to the back knee. Release the right shoelaces. Take a deep inhale, keep your arms. Look up and take a back bend. Slowly release, bring the hands down to the earth. And we sit back halfway. Halfway, nice and slowly, draw the chin to the shin. Maybe you rock back on the heel, walk the hands wide. Beautiful, slowly bend into that left leg, launch forward for standing needle. Bend the right leg, grab the foot behind the back. Release the right foot to meet the left. Bend the knees and slowly roll up. Circle the sun. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. And chaturanga, step or hop back high to low. Inhale, upward. Exhale, down dog. Right leg lift. Bring it through. Warrior two. Same thing, line it all up. You know you're here for five breaths. Heels in the same track. Externally rotate the right thigh, knee and toes, 12 o'clock. Roll to the outer edge of the left foot. Sink. Two more. Nice, reverse the warrior. Left hand drops, right arm reaches. Take the bend out of the right elbow. Yes. And now straighten the front leg, reach to the back, all the way to the back. Nice, now we cartwheel. I always have to heel toe my back foot forward. Left hand's gonna land on the outside of that right foot. Right arm comes high. Karavita trikonasana. All right, revolve, twist that triangle. Take that right hand and wrap it around the back. All right, the palm will face out. Try to separate the fingers as wide as you can. Scoot them up close to the neck. All right, and then pull that right shoulder on top of the left. Stack them if you can. Breathe. Nice, floating half moon. The right hand comes in front, right? Challenge yourself, yogis, maintain your balance. Maybe the hand lands on the earth for a split second to balance you and then bring it right back up. Slowly come up, eagle pose. We wrap that left leg around, left arm on top. Same thing, you'll have to find that dristi in front of you, that point on the floor that isn't moving. All right, and then sink down. Nice, take that left leg, set it back behind you for Anjali. Sink. All right, drop down to the back knee. Release the left shoelaces. Look up when we take the back bend first. So you can sink low for advanced or you can keep that both legs at 90 and just kind of look up, all right? You're still in it, breathe. Nice, release the hands to the earth, sit back halfway. Fold the body, getting into those hamstrings here, really pull the toes high, rock back on the heel, press the hip back. We bend into that right leg, crawl forward, lean forward for standing needle. Bend that left leg, grab the foot behind the back. Nice, go ahead and release that left foot. Sit down in a yogi squat. Tighten Mula Bandha Uli Bandha here. Take your gaze over the right. All right, really try to turn the head as much as you can. Let the eyeballs follow. Maybe you can look all the way to the back. And then slowly through center, we look to the left. All the way, eyeballs and all, it all counts, yogis. Nice, bring it back to the center, look up. 
and then look forward, chin out. We look down. Nice. Look, the, look forward. Take the left hand on the outside of the left foot. Right arm comes high. Taking that bind, inner rotate the arms and clasp behind the back. All right. Maybe your hands don't even meet up. Maybe use a towel or a strap. No big deal. You can stay right here the whole time looking up. It's all a challenge. Breathe. Tighten Mula Bandha. Beautiful. Bring the hands back to heart center. Inhale. Open the mouth. Exhale. A right hand on the outside. Left arm comes high. Same thing. Inner rotate the arms. Wrap right behind the back. Maybe you have the bind. Maybe your hands are just back here and you're pulling that left shoulder open. Looking up. Again, getting into the throat. You'll notice the gaze in each and every pose. Nice. Bring it back to center. Inhale, yogis. Open the mouth, lion's breath it out. Nice. When you're ready, hands on the air. Straighten the legs, heel toe the feet together. Bend the knees and slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Reach the arm. Exhale, hands to heart center. Beautiful. When you're ready, circle this on. Reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway. Chaturanga, step or hop back. High to low plank. Inhale, upward. And sit back in your child's pose. Ring the body out. Ring the body. And when you're ready, slowly come on up to a seated saddle. Then lean forward. We're going to come into a toe stretch. So, so toe stretch. Make sure I'm going to turn around and face all of you. Hello, hello. All right, all 10 toes. The pinky toes try to skip out. We got to fix those pinky toes. <laughs> All right, so if this is too much, we put a block under the, under the knees or we just lean forward with the hands on the earth. As you progress, you'll be able to sit back, right? We're gonna get into the wrists too, but first let's really activate the toes and the shins. So just bring your hands to any palm facing up on your lap, close the eyes, sit up nice and tall and breathe. Five deep Ujjayi breath here. <clears throat> If it's extremely painful, if you feel that sharp pain, bring yourself out. You're really, really uncomfortable. You're doing it correctly, right? The burning, the nagging, right? Nagging pain is different than sharp pain. So know the difference, right? Two more breaths. Feel your chest rise up. Stay with it. Nice job, yogis. Now take the hands, palms will face down, fingers towards the knees, right in front of you, okay? So here we want to scoot the arms out as far as you think you can go. You'll notice when you begin to round your back like a cat, and then you're gonna tuck your chin in here. All right? And you're really gonna push the hands, the knuckles, the fingertips into the ground and notice all of the different areas that it activates in the arm when you press the fingers versus the knuckles versus the palms. And tuck the chin here. Remember, press that spine up to the sky. Nice. And slowly release those. And then we're going to do palms are going to face up, fingers towards the knees once again. And here we can just simply bend the elbows here and just kind of give the outside of the hands a massage. And then bring your hands out about five inches in front of you, round the back like a cat and try to straighten those elbows as much as you can and press the back of the hands into the ground. Nice. 
And nice. When you're ready, slowly release. All right. Come back up to those toes again. Shake out the hands. All right. I know our toes are still in it. Just try to sit here for two more breaths, closing the eye. Nice. When you're ready, bring the hands out in front. Go ahead and smack the feet on the ground. Wake them back up till the toes you level. And if you want that extra counter posture, you don't have to take it. You can sit down on that squat and then just chaturanga your arms and lift the knees up only, keeping the booty close to the heels. Pose isn't for everyone. Beautiful. Slowly come down. Go ahead and bring the legs out in front of you. All right, just a little break here. Reach the arms up for Pashimato and then fold forward. All right, when you're ready, come on up. Take that reverse plank or reverse tabletop. If you're doing tabletop, your knees are bent, no big deal. Maybe you can look up, maybe you can look to the back, but lift the hips up as high as you can go until it's really uncomfortable because this is fairly easy, that reverse tabletop. If you can, try to straighten the legs and then lift up so high that your big toes are touching, right? Lift, lift, lift. It's such an active, intense pose here. And then slowly come on down, yogis. Go ahead and take a flow. So cross your ankles. You can step back into that high plank, low. Inhale up and exhale. We'll meet in down dog. Three more breaths here. Deep inhales, deep exhale. And when you're ready, we'll take sun salutation. Look forward, step or hop, float to the top. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. And circle, come all the way up. Reach the arms. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach. Look up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Chaturanga, high to low. If you need to drop to the knees, no big deal. Inhale, upward. Exhale, down dog. Step or hop to the top. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Circle, come all the way up. Reach up, look up, take your time. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Step or hop back, high to low. Inhale, upward. Exhale. Down dog. Step or hop to the top. Inhale halfway. Exhale full. Circle. Come on up. Exhale hands to heart. Inhale reach. Exhale fold. Inhale halfway. Step back high to low. Inhale up. Exhale down. Step or hop to the top. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Circle, come on up. Hands to the chest. Last round, reach up, look up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Step back, high to low. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Float forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. And circle, come all the way up. Just bring your hands to heart center, yogis. Close the eyes, feel your echo. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Beautiful, circle the sun, reach the arms up. Sit down, Utkatasana. Maybe you separate your feet underneath the hips and then you sit. Try to have that nice flat back here. And try to tuck the tailbone so you get more into the quadriceps, right? Bring the hands to heart center. 
and we pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay low. Right elbow hooks on the outside of the left knee. Look up to the sky if you can here. Nice. Now take that right foot, step it back for twisting lunge. Maintain your balance. Maintain your breath. And split the arms. Right hand drops, left arm reaches. Come up to water wheel. And then open it up to warrior two. Sink down low. Reverse the warrior. Floating side angle. Bring that left arm out in front of you. Right arm comes over the head for extended. Again, reverse. And then floating. Last round, reverse. Try to straighten the arms. And then side angle, extended, floating, or grounded. Trikonasana. Straighten that left leg, reach the right arm high. Drop the right hand down, open it up to a wide-legged forward fold. Bring the hands out front and drop the head for that wide-legged down dog. Shake your head, nod your head. Nice, walk the hands back under the face, walk them back to the top of the mat. The back foot meets the front foot forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold, circle, come on up, reach up, look up and go back. Exhale, hands to heart center, sit down. Again, separating those feet, tucking the tailbone. We pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take a twist, left elbow hooks on the outside of the right knee, looking up to the sky. Right. Left foot steps back for that twisting lunge. Left hand drops, right arm reaches. Water wheeling, and then slowly opening up to warrior two. Fancy footwork, yogis. Nice, strong, straight back leg sinking into that front. Reverse the warrior. That floating side angle brings the right arm out in front of you. You're just leaning forward, left arm comes over the head. Again, re-reverse. Re and then that floating side angle. Remember the arm out front's just a little modification. Advance is gonna bring it parallel with the other arm out towards the front of the mat. Again, we reverse. And then we take it one last round here. Trikonasana, straight to that front leg. Left arm comes high to the sky. Bring that left hand all the way down to the earth. So wide legged forward fold facing the left. All right, we're gonna drop into Skandasana on the left side first. Slowly, slowly dropping into it. So there's options. You can come high to those left tippy toes. You can take binds here staying grounded, all right? The right foot, you'll notice, if you keep the right sole of the foot down, you're really getting into that Achilles a little bit easier than this, right? If you have that right foot up, this is uh, much, much easier, you'll notice. So try to get the right sole of the foot down. Beautiful, Michelle, breathe. Bring the hands to heart center. Again, the wrap, maybe the hands are on the earth for support. Two more breaths. Nice, bring the hands down, shift slowly to the other side, slowly to the other side. Try to keep the left heel grounded as you sink down. All right, so the right sole can stay down. You can come high with the right tippy toes if you're feeling fancy about it and do what you like with the hands. And when you're ready, slowly come on out. Straighten that right leg. Walk your hands to the back of the mat. All right, drop down to the back knee, coming into a low lunge here. 
And keeping the hands grounded on the earth, we're preparing for Hanumanasana. So we're going to start in this low lunge. And when you're ready, we're going to straighten that left leg and sit back, getting into that left hamstring nice and deep first before entering into it. We fold the body, fold, 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 keeping that right hip high. Nice bend into the left leg. And when you are ready, slide that left leg straight out in front of you for full splits for full Hanumanasana. Breathe, yogis, close your eyes, beautiful. Bend back into the left leg, all right? We're coming into pyramid pose from here, facing the back. So scooch the back foot forward, stay in the fold, straighten both legs and drop the head down. Maybe you can clasp the hands behind the back, coming into a reverse prayer, perhaps. Staying in the fold. Release the hands back to the earth. Go ahead and just slowly walk your way to the top of the mat. Right foot should be in the front, right? Go ahead and drop down to that back knee coming into that low lunge. All right, hands on the earth here, just in preparation for the hips and the legs. And when you're ready, sit back halfway, straighten that right leg, fold the body. Fold the body. Breathe. Bend into the right leg. And when you are ready, slowly slide into your version at your own degree of Hanuman. All right, so one side might feel a little bit tighter, looser than the other. Don't judge, don't compare. Just come into it with a smile, breathe. I know some days I got a full split and some days I just don't. All right, two more. When you're ready, bend back into that right leg. Set yourself up for pyramid pose. A slight launch forward. See if you can fold forward, but then take the hands behind the back. If you're used to clasping, cool. Try to get the palms together in that reverse prayer, all right? On the back and then pull those elbows back behind you. Lock me in. Boop, boop, boop. One more breath, slowly on that last exhale, bring the hands down to the earth. The back foot meets the front foot in a forward fold. Bend the knees and slowly come on up, yogis. And circle the sun. Exhale, hands to heart center. Beautiful, hold your mountain pose here. Pull yourself in and up. One breath, inhale, deep exhale. When you're ready, circle the sun, reach up. Keep the hands together, take a side stretch, tilt over to the right, look up and under that left arm. If you want to go a little deeper, maybe slide that right hand down the leg so you get this awesome support. I like to take my feet and separate them a little hip distance, and then I can get really deep into that left side stretch. Little support, little separation in the feet, and a lot of breath. I slowly come up, both arms come high on your inhale. Exhale, fold to the other side, all right? Guide your hand down the leg for that support, and then you can go a little bit deeper, maybe. And then slowly come back up, both arms come high. 
and then forward fold sit back into that downward facing dog drop down to the knees for tabletop all right cross the ankles and sit back on the booty bring the legs out in front of you all right so peace finger to big toe yes adjust your booty if you need to sitting bones sitting bones yeah wipe down get water get water all right so peace finger big toe lean back and float them hold on to them right. just sit here because this is cool and this is fun it's a good stretch for the shoulders too if you allow your nice strong feet to pull your arms as your back pushes to the back wall all right and then just slowly straighten the left leg. Bring the gaze out over that left. See if you can pull that right toe up to the chin or up to that right ear. And then switch. Bring that left foot in first. Maybe you attach the sole. All right, and then straighten that right leg out, looking up and over that right. Maybe you can bring that left foot up to chin, to the ear, or back behind the head head mine's not getting there today beautiful bring both of the feet soles together holding on holding on and now at the same time open maintain your balance yogis sit up tall bring the feet together open them back up bring them together open them back up last time bring them together leave them there just let them go high boat low boat in low boat we crunch for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 one, sit up, hug the knees in. Don't drop the feet down. Breathe. All right. Maybe you can bring the heels to the knee height right here. Same. All right. And then we're going to twist. Twist. So go, try to get the knees in the opposite direction. They call them Russian twists. Yeah, you can Google it. All right. Three, two more. One more. Hug those knees in. Deep breath. Low boat. Last time, last set. We got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sit back, hug those knees into the chest. Take a deep breath in. And a deep exhale. Go ahead and lift those legs up nice and high. And then we're going to scissor all the way down. Nice small scissors all the way down. One inch above the earth and hover them for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring it back up slowly. High. Beautiful. Flex the feet. Opposite hand to opposite foot. Just tap, tap, tap the ankle. If you can tap the heel, tap the heel. Really pull that back up. Twist the body. Keep breathing. More. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight nine ten yes hug the knees in take a deep inhale and a deep exhale hands on the knees make big circles nice big rotations travel slowly travel slowly opposite directions and then reverse that rotation
Nice. So take that right sole of the foot to the earth, left leg comes high. If you can grab onto the foot, maybe you have a strap or a towel, you wrap it around. We're gonna hold that leg high. If you can slide that right leg down to the earth, go for it. All right, maybe you hold onto the back of the calf. Maybe your peace fingers have that big toe and you're really pulling it back towards the base. Try to keep a hold of the leg with both arms though. Breathe. Specifically right into those hamstrings here. Find that tension, find out where it is and just breathe with it. You go to your edge and you bring it flowers and you say hello to it. You treat it with kindness. Never force yourself to do any of these poses. Never force yourself to do anything if you can help it. All right, take the left peace fingers to that big toe and then we're just gonna open it up slowly to that left side. Airplane out the right arm for a bit of balance here. Try to keep the right butt cheek on the ground and then look over to the right. Deep inhale, deep exhale. We're gonna shift it all the way to the other side. So the right hand's gonna come in and grab the outside of that left foot or maybe the big toe, it doesn't matter. Left arm's gonna airplane out. It might be easier, or better for you. Maybe you're just grabbing the knee and guiding it all the way over. Don't worry about scooching. Try to get that right leg in the same line as your spine or pretty close to it. And then look over that left shoulder. Nice, and then we slowly come on out. Adjust on your mat, hug that left knee into the chest. And then slowly release it down to the earth and just lie here for a moment and feel the difference. Put your hands on your hips here, feeling that front of that life force, the energy. Deep inhale, deep exhale. When you're ready, slowly draw that right leg into the chest. And again, we can straighten that leg up. Go ahead and grab your strap, towel, whatever you have. Maybe you can grab onto the foot or the big toe and pull the leg straight as you can back towards the face. Yeah, it's one more breath. The right piece finger, big toe, guide your foot all the way open to the right. Left arm airplanes out, the gaze goes to the left. Keep the left butt cheek on the ground. Is my religion. All we need is love. Mm -hmm. When you're ready, take the last deep breath here. And guide yourself up, guide yourself up so slowly. And grab onto the outside of the foot with the left hand and just simply guide it all the way over to the opposite. Try to keep it straight as you can. All right, the gaze will go over to the right this time. I'll keep you in my arms for sure. Oh. This my religion. 
Love is my religion. Two more breaths. One more. All we need is love and water. Dude, come on out slowly. Oh, yes. Hug the knees into the chest and then straighten them down to the earth. Feel the echo, feel the flow. Feel that nice warm energy on that right hip. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, roll over onto the belly. We're gonna take a shoulder stretch here while we're nice and warm. While we're nice and warm. So if you've been doing yoga for a while, cactus the arm. Cactus the arm. So we'll start, it doesn't matter what side you start on. It doesn't matter. If you scooched over to the right side mat, then you're gonna airplane out the left arm. Maybe you cactus it and then roll to that left side body, fold the right leg up, set the foot behind the left knee, and then wrap that right arm around the back. If you can take that left foot and fold it up and put it inside that right knee socket, go for it. Right knee socket, is it a socket? Could it be called a socket? The right knee socket, not at all, it's not, okay. A knee pit, I like it. The right knee pit. <laughs> Breathe, Yogi. Knee pit. About three more. Two more. Nice job, yogis. Come on out slow. And the counter posture will be the other side. Just scooch over to the opposite side, airplane or cactus the other arm, and then sort your legs out how you will. The left foot will bend stepping behind that right knee and then if you want to add in that right leg you can fold it up and put the right foot inside the knee what do we call it knee pit <laughs> knee pit the meniscus I only know it's called the meniscus because I hurt it before. You know, we learn body parts. If you've never taken anatomy, you just kind of learn them as you get older. <laughs> like as they start hurting. <laughs> Pull that top shoulder back, back, back. Open the chest, open heart and keep the breath going. You only have two more. When you're ready, come on out slowly. Come on out slowly. Just roll out, bring your hands down by the side, put the right cheek on the mat. And then go ahead and uh, roll over onto your back. And you're gonna take either Modified pigeon here. Or if you want to rock and roll yourself up to a regular seated pigeon, you can do that. You can do double pigeon, seated double pigeon, if you wanted to. That looks like this. And that's kind of an advanced posture, that seated double pigeon. You wanna make sure the legs are at 90 degrees. Right? And then once you're here, you fold forward. So pigeon, it's the same as pigeon, except that bottom leg isn't in the back, it's in the front. 
right? So we're getting into a different area of the hip. So notice which one might be better for you, which one has the most tension, right? So then fold forward. If this one's really challenging, do this one, all right? And then fold forward as much as you can, okay? If you're in a regular pigeon with that leg behind you, a little, little less, right? The goal is to get this right leg at 90 degrees. It doesn't ever, ever, ever have to really be there though, okay? We only tell you these extreme degrees so that as you progress in your practice, you have a goal in each pose so that you can find your edge. You want to find your edge in each place here in your vinyasa, right? When we're doing things like restorative yin, we're not so much in the edge finding mode as we are in the relaxation into just being where our body can go. We don't, we're not worried about going deeper, you know. Breathe. If you can surrender here, maybe take the weight off of the elbows, bring the arms further out front or slide the hands down by the side. And take the last healing, soothing breath here. Stay with the entire breath and try to make it last long. Hold on to that breath and let it go as slow as you can. And be gentle and slow in your transition. Remember your transition tells your story. Be graceful. Be delicate. Anytime you can ever move slowly and get away with it in this life, move slowly. Coming into the other side, melting into it, taking a few moments if you want that seated position, if you want to take that proud pigeon. And then we fold down, we fold down. Just try to melt. Notice where the thoughts go and just bring them back to the sensations of the body and the mind right here, right now. Truly is all we have. Breathe, three more. Deep inhale, deep exhale. If you can get the elbows out of the picture, elbows out.
stay with the last breath. The slowest exhale you've ever, ever done. Be gentle and slow coming out, honoring every bit of the transition. And come to any other pose that you want to do before we come to our seated uh, meditation. If you need a bolster or block for your booty, raise your hand and I will bring you one. So if you're at home, go ahead and get it as quiet as you can, turning off anything, fans, music, people. Try to find complete and utter silence if you can. If we're here in the studio, go ahead and find your seat. If you need to drink some water or wipe down before your meditation, go ahead. And we're going to be in our seat for about seven to eight minutes, which is about three to four minutes more than what we're used to doing, right? And we're trying to build it up a little bit more in here. So come to that comfortable seat, sit up nice and tall, all right? And you're going to take a deep breath in through the nose. And open the mouth and gently sigh it all out. All right, so we're in an office building here. So let go of any distractions that you may hear people coming and going. The hands can be placed on the knees facing up or down in any mudra that is comfortable for you. So you connect the index finger and the thumb to balance the ego and the intellect. A nice straight spine. If you clasp your hands together as such and set them in your lap, it's good for self-confidence. Right? No matter where you are, try to ground your fingers and close them off the energy points. When you're ready, take a deep breath in. And separate the lips and slowly exhale. And every time your thoughts wander off, bring them back to your breath in this very moment. Maintain an inhale and an exhale. Nice and slow, controlled.
within yourself to the ground. If you're ready to lay down on your back, just move slowly. Try to keep the eyes closed. Try not to disrupt the cells in the body. Be gentle. I'm gonna come around with a cold cloth for your forehead. So don't be alarmed at my touch. Take a deep breath in here, drawing your shoulders down away from the ears. Open the mouth and sigh it out. Just relax your body. There's nothing left to do. When the thoughts wander off, bring them back to right here, right now.
Begin to slowly wiggle through the fingers and toes. Maybe twist through your wrist, your ankles. You can slowly draw the knees into the chest. And just roll over to whichever side comes comfortable for you. And just lie here for a moment in peace. And slowly guide yourself up to a comfortable seated posture. And keeping the eyes closed. We'll bring the hands to heart center. We'll take one breath to seal our practice and to honor our intentions. Let's take a deep inhale through the nose. Open the mouth and sigh it all out. I thank each and every one of you for showing up to practice today. The divine in me honors and cherishes the divine in each and every one of you. Namaste. Yogi's good job. Thank you, Andrea. Good class. You're welcome. Thank you. Ninety. Like exactly nine minutes.